Travelling up to far north Sweden on the train, it was an almighty bang in the middle of the night. The train shuddered, very, very loud, uh, very frightening. We just hit a moose at over 200 kilometres per hour. The evidence of that impact appears to be on the front of the train. What an unusual experience, only in Sweden. So um, up in far north uh, Sweden, we are uh, about to get on a train and uh, as you can see, uh, the only thing we're missing here is the train tracks. It's just snow as far as the eye can see. Let's hope the train can make it through the heavy snow. There's the buffering ram. That's the, uh, the moose uh, protecting buffering ram to absorb some of the impact of the poor animal uh, if the train hits it at uh, 200 kilometers an hour because we certainly uh, want to keep our passengers safe as well. But yeah, look at that. No train tracks, just snow. There you go. Advent, uh, uh, what is this one called? Ljusstake. Adventstake. Adventstake. So everybody has this, like everybody. Uh, you look in any window, Jesus. anywhere in the whole town, and you have uh, the candles in the window, or the star. It's one or the other, preferably both. That's just the way it is here, it's beautiful. Come with me. Square with a fabulous Christmas tree. The whole town. The old, phone what's that, a phone booth? Yeah. An old phone booth. That's a very unusual design. And of course, as is obligatory in Sweden, stars and candles in the window. There is no I'm quite interested in your coat there, uh, Cheshire. It's quite long. What's it called? Uh, a kappa. A kappa. Yeah, a tech kappa. A tech kappa. And the tech is the material. Yeah. And kappa is the garment. Uh huh. Yeah. There you go. A little Swedish curio. The tech kappa. Perfect for when the temperature is. Down around minus 20 degrees. First one in Sweden. What's that? The first street in Sweden? Yeah. Walking, walking street. The first walking street. Walking street, not commerce. Ah, that's the first like pedestrian mall. The first walking street in Sweden. It was painted green. It was painted green. No, no. To be 
And here we have the snow line again. Apparently the city's designated that uh, beyond this line snow is permitted again. So from here we have the snow streets, whereas on this side snow not permitted. How interesting. <laughs> We're having some lunch. We have reindeer pizza coming up for lunch. Reindeer pizza with gorgonzola and uh, champion mushrooms. Beautiful. Pizza hut. So currently uh, we're in a Lapland pizza joint uh, in north, far north Sweden in Lapland. And here we have a reindeer pizza. And as you'll see, uh, the pizzas in Sweden are always uh, never, they, they never cut. They never cut the pizzas in Sweden. There's a big market for the pizza roller kind of thing. But anyway, reindeer pizza with some gorgonzola. Delicious. Now you'd think with a car plugged in, it's an electric car. No, this is a uh, uh, engine heater to ensure that the uh, fuel doesn't uh, freeze because the temperature here is literally uh, minus 25 at the moment. And the, um, that little heater keeps the, uh, the engine uh, from freezing. I have often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me. I'm still rugged up in the car with a heater on uh, full and uh, outside it's a chilly minus 26 degrees. That's pretty cold. Not unusual for this time of year in this area apparently but uh, minus 26 degrees is pretty darn cold for me. Well, the voice keeps saying this is where I'm meant to be. I will find a way I can go the distance I'll be there someday If I can be strong I know every mile Will be worth my while I would go most 28 degrees, minus 28 degrees That is pretty chilly and they have a, a heater inside the CAS special heater, which is plugged into a power point, in fact. That's just, uh, things are a little different up here when the temperature is uh, literally minus 28 degrees. There's a calm surrender to the rush of day When the heat of a rolling wind can be turned away an enchanted moment as it sees me through it's enough for this restless goodness me minus 30 degrees can you feel the love tonight i was laid to And uh, behind me, behind me you can see black plastic bags on sticks. Now these are indicating uh, reindeer cross in this area. So we're just on a slight bridge over a creek and the reindeer often uh, cross in this particular area. So all around Sweden, uh, if you see, uh, North Sweden, if you see the uh, black uh, plastic bags, uh, reindeer are crossing here. Take care. Wow, that's a real reindeer. My dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams, you will lose your heartache. Whatever you wish for, you. Here we have a ski resort 
in far north Sweden, except it's closed. And the reason it's closed, it's too cold in north Sweden to go skiing. Minus 25, minus 30 degrees. Nobody's able to ski in this kind of uh, incredibly cold weather. So uh, the ski resort is waiting for warmer weather. Have faith in your dreams then someday oh, your rainbow will come shining through No matter how your heart is grieving If you keep on believing Know oh, the dream that you wish will come Pretty beautiful countryside here Wow Very remote, very very cold, very white, pretty cool, literally. Here in the uh, north Sweden town of PTA is a, uh, a very interesting divide. In fact, behind me is the, um, the city centre where the, uh, the roads are all free of ice because uh, they're heated. Underground pipes are taking heat from a local factory which uh, does wood pulp and uh, has an awful lot of uh, heat to get rid of and the city is uh, very happily taking that heat, piping it under the city streets and uh, all the snow just is magically disappearing. If you look on the other half of the city, the other half of the city very different. There's snow everywhere, no heated pipes on this half of the city and yet in the city centre all the pavements are miraculously, magically free of snow and ice. Nobody's slipping and falling here. An interesting little quirk, using the heat of the local factory to heat the city. And in fact, a lot of the residents uh, pay for heat. You can actually buy heat. Uh, you have a pipe to warm water is piped into your house and you pay with a meter and everything uh, thanks to the local factory. It's a little quirk, northern Sweden. You know you're in a lapland supermarket in Sweden and at the entrance is a live reindeer, life size at least, reindeer. Little Swedish curio here outside the supermarket. This is pronounced good hell, which means good weekend in Swedish. Little curio for you. Something to watch out for uh, when you're walking around northern Sweden is uh, shards of sharp ice falling uh, from the roof. So uh, watch out. Here in north Sweden, one of the requirements of the driving test is you have to slide your car out sideways and then correct for the slide. You have to demonstrate your capability of sliding the car. Um, now I just think that's fabulous. Having a driving test where one of the requirements is that you're able to put your car sideways and then do something about it. I mean, it makes a lot of sense uh, if you're in heavy snow, you need to know how to control your car, but you wouldn't just, you wouldn't imagine that the driving test actually requires that you are in fact, um, you're required to slide your car out in the, uh, the heavy slippery ice and soft snow. It's uh, snowing fairly uh, solidly here now, and uh, it's just a great place to be. Subscribe. Sweden.